So, this tantra going into astrology setup, this gives rise to something known as Sarode. Now, Sarode, you see, as I always say, the first development that happened in astrology was Prashna. Mahurta is the first development. That making calendar was the first thing for which astrology was developed. Vaidik sages wanted to make a calendar so that they can know when there is sunrise, sunset, even when the sky is cloudy. So they made astrology. After that, answering question was the point. So first development that happens in astrology after Muhurta is, is Prashna. So that's why Prashna is divided into two categories. Prashna with horoscope, Prashna without horoscope. Prashna with ascendant, Prashna without ascendant. So in this, there is something known as Sarodha, Siva Sarodha. This is Tantric part. This is useful in Muhurta Prashna both. So either the left nostril is working or the right nostril is working. You can put your finger like this and start breathing. You will see right is working or left is working. Right nostril is connected to sun, sun is male. Left nostril is connected to moon. Moon is a female. So all male related activities going for a job, winning, attacking, etc. is good when the sun part is running. All female activities such as taking care of someone, getting married, right, showing love, etc. is good when the moon part is ruling. This is the basic setup. This is the basic concept. Okay. Now it is employed in two ways. If you are going for a fight, if you are going for a competition, you will want to win. You will start from your home when the right nostril is running and you will keep your right foot forward. If you are going for a date or if you are going for peace treaty, you should start when the moon nostril is running, the left nostril is running and will keep your left foot forward. That is the basic point. While waking up from the bed, you will see which nostril is running. That foot you will keep on the ground first. The day will go well. That is the basic funda. That is the basic setup. Now, when it comes to astrology, this principle is also used in Prashna. So if the questioner is standing in that direction, which nostril is running. So you see questioner is standing in right, right nostril is running. He is going to get the success. Otherwise not for general purpose. If the Prashna is related to you say marriage, moon nostril is running, marriage will happen. Sun nostril is running, sun do not support marriage. Marriage is a female work, marriage is a moon because you want love in marriage. Love is a female work. So moon nostril is running, it will give marriage. Sun nostril is running, it will not give marriage at all. As an astrologer, you cannot make a prashna for yourself. This method you can use for yourself. Prashnas you cannot make. So if you ever have a question about yourself or your family member, this is best to go to because you will make a prashna, you cannot do that. Your spouse will make a prashna, they know astrology. If they know astrology, they can make a prashna. Otherwise, this is best to go to. Right. So this point is understood based on the nature of the question which nostril is running, you are going to give the answer. Now, this thing, we put it to horoscope also. This left and right nostril, my friend, is connected to hora. Okay. Pingala it is called. When the both nostrils are running, it is Sushumna, nothing should be done. So Ida, right nostril is related to sun. Male works or sun related work should be done. So things indicated by sun or other male planets, Jupiter, Mars, I take Saturn also. Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Rahu. Things related to these planets should be done in Ida Nadi. Pingala is when the left nostril is running. This nostril is ruled by moon. Moon indicates female planet. So anything that is indicated by Mercury, that is indicated by Venus, that is indicated by Kaitu, you want to do it, you do it when Pingala is. This is when you see which nostril is running in your horoscope, right? Now based on the Hora also, for a male Rashi, Male Rashi, you know male Rashi. Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. First Hora, 0 to 15 degrees is Sun Hora. Second Hora, 15 to 30 degree is Moon Hora. For female Rashi, that is other Rashis, 
being taurus cancer virgo scorpio capricorn and aquarius 0 to 15 degrees happens to be moon aura and 15 to 30 degree happens to be sun aura so in a prashna based on the ascendant being into the sun aura or moon aura without observing your breath you can quickly give an answer that which kind of karma is supported by this question right for example if someone is diseased and moon hora is rising that means female work of having patience will be useful right now whereas if the sun hora is rising then changing the doctor changing the medication changing the hospital male things of activity is going to be useful so which approach to be taken should be decided based on it right now regarding the nostril you know about panch tattvas right the weakest tattva is earth powerful than that is water more powerful than that is fire more powerful than that is air most powerful is ether so as you go into finding the breath now the air from the nostril there can be height of the air so one angle is taken if the air is very short up to this level only it is earth two fingers it is like this long air is there this long air you are breathing out you are eating more of prana right so this is water three angle it is fire four angle it is earth five angle up to this level if you are breathing the air out it is either right so these five elements are then added to the breathing to the ida and pingal now keeping in mind that earth is ruled by mercury water is ruled by venus and moon fire is ruled by sun and mars air is ruled by saturn and ether is ruled by jupiter i have changed the saturn jupiter right keeping in mind that these attributes are ruled by these planets further better prediction should be made as per the prashna right and this is an independent system all together in itself so based on the hora you will find what part is rising either the sun part is rising or the moon part is rising you know which approach is to be taken and based on the tattva rising you can further tell the event for example if the water tattva is rising the question should be related to either venus or moon and if it is moon hora then the event related to venus or moon marriage should happen the person should have patience whereas if the sun hora is rising or ida nadi is running then the person will get married but male related work he have to do that means he will have to go and he will have to talk to the lady for the result to happen right so based on the attribute of the planet also the result is told the basic point is earth is weaker water is stronger than earth fire is stronger than water air is stronger than fire and either is the most powerful so you say when the moon nadi is running with earth element the effect of moon is there but very low so if it is a result related to family life there will be love in family life because moon is indicating love but because of the twice earth very less love in the family on the other hand if it is moon hora with either element the question is related to love in family love between the family members moon supports the love so love is to be there and it is either element so very strong love attachment and understanding between the family members is to be there so we go into two set the time rising is moon hora the person is asking question related to marriage will i get married but the tattva rising is the tattva of mercury mercury is unich planet so apparently because it is a moon hora gain of love is indicated the relationship may continue but it is converting in marriage mercury will not let it convert in marriage at all 
if water tattva is rising yet it, yes it can convert into marriage fire tattva is rising there will be fight air tattva is rising it can convert into marriage either tattva is rising it will surely convert into marriage strength factors and the nature of the tattva both of these things i am taking into consideration this simple taught in 5 minutes is a complete prashna method so the you the more you work with it more astonished you will become but you will have to work with it okay so this is one thing this is a prashna method very useful prashna and it's all the question sir so five oh, sorry let me see yeah yeah five ah uh, sir so uh, the five element method shows you intensity and hora shows you the nature a nature of the thing. result The intensity will be seen from the which tattva is rising. Uh, intensity is from tattva, okay. and nature from the sun or moon or. Right. If nature is matching with the work one wants to do, there is success. Not matching with the work that one wants to do, then there is difficulty. So this course will open up many many more facts. Yeah. Okay. One of the most advanced courses that I will ever teach. Because yeah. more advanced than this, we cannot go in astrology. This is the epitome of it that we can. Sir, your own yeah. courses you are any advanced. You always say this is going to be best, but we always get you know better, better. We'll always try to beat the like previous. Chandra Kala Nadi, Chandra Kala Nadi is sir one of my favorite. It was really very good course. Is we learn a lot, lot from that course. Chandra Kala, I wanted to teach from 2018. Every time I used to talk to my wife, and then I used to like, this is very high. People don't deserve it. Don't teach it. Every time I used to do, finally she said to me that if you are going to teach it, you should teach it, and you should teach it right now. So it is her persuasion that have led to it. Otherwise, I was never in mood of teaching something like Chandra Kala because it is huge. You have to, you know, all these exercises that I have to make costed a lot of time, and it have to do with all of things. So I was always afraid of this hard work that I will have to do in making. No, and sir, you done a lot of hard work people. in that course. Sir. It was a lot of hard work done by from your side, sir, in that course. Hopefully you will do sir second part for that course. Yeah, this is specialties of Chandra Kala. First we will do, then after the specialties we will do a few things because specialties many principles are there here and there fragmented. They have to be used. Sanskar, thoda sanskar karne ki zarurat hai. So principles we have to take little bit of sanskar we have to do. Then a new thing will open up in this Chandra Kala. Then we will then we can go to the second part. You know, putting our own mind into it. But first let's understand what Chandra Kala himself is trying to say. And somehow the author of Chandra Kala is not very good in saying what he wants to say. So you sir, you have made very clear. Kardiya, Chandra Kala Nadi, a lot of sir, that misconception, like that, right? That's how it was spread. Chandra Kala Nadi, to say, someone is saying something, someone is saying something, but you, you know, put it very simple way, logical way, and you know, it was really wonderful. You did. Yeah, it targeted. And I don't think anybody, anybody has done sir for Chandra Kala Nadi for so long. Time. Nobody will do also that much. Sir. Yes, nobody will yes, do those excels. Trust me. This is this is the only target doing things that others will not be able. But should not be if someone can do it, they should do it. But yes, it is all. It is also because of you people. You see, good students forced to teach. So that's why the, the section of decoding the Nadi Amsha I put in between. I was like first first ten classes. I will see the reaction of students. Good students, I will teach this part. Bad students, I will not teach the part. I will take the part out. But good students are always a, you know, good students are always a motivation to do. So one course request, maybe a webinar, if whenever you some get some time on eclipses, like sometimes moon, like moon eclipse will the Chandravyaan will happen before fifteen days. Sometimes it will after fifteen days, uh -huh. and people, few people are specifically born in the in these fifteen days duration. Mm -hmm. So there must be something which like I have never seen anything coming out on those topics. Okay, madam, this is a very this is I think a small topic. So one day webinar will do. Oh, okay. so that I will keep in mind. I have to do something on it. Sanjay ji also said because recent uh, recent grahan which happened, the sun and moon was not in the same rashi. Eclipse happened. Moon was in the previous rashi, and eclipse was there. You see it from any anamsha. Moon is in the previous rashi. So the point is that there is a degree cal span. In that degree cal span, the planets go. Eclipse happen. You cannot see in the horoscope astronomically it is happening. So it gives a point that you see if you want to calculate the eclipse, it you have to make a topocentric and a heliocentric horoscope, and you see both of them together to see the eclipse in the sky. 
because zodiac is basically heliocentric but horoscope we are making is a geocentric right from the center of the earth so these are two two zodiacs we have to combine together this is a very good topic we'll do so the next webinar uh, whenever we get the time is on this uh, and shubham one very very quick question uh -huh. what what do you think is the difference between the gemini and the chandrakala nadi so because when i uh -huh. use gemini and mix up the the characteristics what you told for rashis uh -huh. take an any chart uh -huh. if, he, if the gemini says that he'll move from his house at this time he'll only move at that time uh -huh. There is no incident I'm not able to predict with Germany and damn it. Yeah. Point is that Germany is a system for timing. It is good for prediction. It is good. Yeah. Chandrakala Nadi is a super pill on uh, traditional system. So Germany, it does not touch as much on Germany as such. Right. So only it talks about, it talks about some Rashi Dasha, which he does not clarify what is the Rashi Dasha. So we have two options. Either it can be Kal Chakra Dasha. Or it can be Jaimini Dasha. So Jaimini Dasha also I have not taught. Just a simple basic method of Rashi Dasha is what I have taught because it refers to Rashi Dasha. Okay. So that is one thing. Now the purpose of Chandrakala. If you say the Chandrakala, we are reading Chandrakala with the purpose of how an astrologer of 18th century is reading horoscope. That is what Chandrakala is about. What are the principles he is preferring? What is the principle that he is using? That is basically specialties of Chandrakala. Now... Because Chandrakala also uses Nadi Yamsha, the highlight is Nadi Yamsha for Chandrakala. Though in the course, my purpose was that if you go to South India for a Nadi reading, they will give you all 16 condoms celebrating all of your houses of the horoscope. So I started there from that how to make that condom. If you are the Rishi and you have to make the condom, how you will make the condom? We started there from the specialties of Chandrakala is in the end. Middle part is the Nadi Yamsha. Now you talk of Nadi Yamsha. The result that Chandrakala is giving in the name of the Nadi Yamsha, I think he's trying to fool people because the result is not of Nadi Yamsha at all. The result is a normal result. The result that you will say for a Saturn-Venus combination, the same result he have told with Saturn-Venus combination in Vasudha Nadi Yamsha. Here, the Vasudha Nadi Yamsha is useless. Hmm. Saturn-Venus combination result also have the same result. Now, this Nadi Yamsha is not clarified in Chandrakala at all. All the Nadi Yamshas are not used. Now, this Nadi Yamsha comes somewhere in between, it is not an ancient thing, comes somewhere around the 14th century. Dhruva Nadi's etc. talk about Nadi Yamsha, but you read the result of Dhruva Nadi with Nadi Yamsha, it does not match even 5%. It is as useless and bogus as it can be. Right, so I don't know why they have written it. But the concept of Nadi Yamsha is all the 16 divisional charts, you take it at once. So you go into two approach. You see all the 16 divisional charts separately, Time taking 15 minute process, or you see an Adi Yamsha, that is a two second process. It leads you to the same result in an easier and in a better way. Because the Nadi Yamsha is the condensed uh, all the divisional charts. And the point is that because it is a Nadi Yamsha, it comes with a new set of duties and new set of results. So those results are also useful, which gives you something extra over what you can otherwise find. So what Chandrakala is giving you, apparently Chandrakala is only giving you analysis. But he is giving you that analysis, which saves a lot of time. So instead of looking at 16 divisional charts, you can quickly look at Nadi Yamsha and it serves the purpose. It is the shortcut. Sir, and, uh, sir I, I will save difference between Gemini because I did Gemini also and yeah. Chatharakar Nadi. Gemini is very good for prediction, no doubt. Point to point, we get prediction, but you taught to us. But uh, this is, you know, Chatharakar Nadi gives you deep analysis. You get, yeah. you know, lost when you study this, you know, uh, good for research, I will say. Yeah, good you know, for research. Yeah, it is uh, for prediction, you know, for consultation. Germany principles are very good. Yeah. Chandrakalanari, of course, but, you know, if you really love to, uh, you know, study astrology in deep. Yeah. Yeah, then, if you want to get lost in yeah. astrology, for that Chandrakalanari is fabulous. Right. Chandrakala is a research course. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. This, this is a good point. Because... And one more thing, sir, you say, it gives, you know, rasa of all divisions. Yeah. In once. Yeah. yeah. Chandrakala is the mango juice. You don't eat mango, you drink the juice. Because Jaimini is very Dasha dependent. Chandrakala is having no Dasha at all, right? The Dasha we are using in Chandrakala is standard Vimshotri, right? We are not introducing a new Dasha in Chandrakala. Chandrakala is Dasha, Dasha independent. Dasha is not coming. Sir, so Darshana, you told that also, you know, yearly, yearly, uh, for yearly chart, you know, watchful, ah, it, that it, it was very good. Yeah. So Darshan, I don't know, it, it was your research, right? I don't think it yeah, was yeah, yeah. So Darshan, yeah. I, I put in between. Hmm. Because something yearly event, Chandrakala is timing. 
Chandrakala is doing yearly event, but his method of doing yearly event is as bogus and as useless as it can be. But because it is there, I have to teach so a new research I introduced into that based on the Sudarshan Chakra and it is also a very fantastic research. So not coming from Chandrakala as such. Actually, Chandrakala is a course where I have taken what he's trying to do and he's not able to do it well. So I have introduced principles from my side into that. And because these are all research principles, analysis-based research course, you can say it, if it is to be categorized in a way.